This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for the Special Stage Route 11 All Night Endurance Race 2. Midsummer Night Festival. Special Stage Route 11 is run on the specifically built urban circuit. So I read the PAL description because actually both races are exactly the same. Route 11 Night Endurance number 1 and 2 have the same exact description. There's no reverse variant. There's no anything. Uh, there's um, both a PAL and an NTSC description, which is quite interesting. Anyways... So, I had this Nissan Sil 80 in my garage. It's really cool, looks badass and shit. But what I did off screen was I went ahead and refreshed the used car dealership. And we're just gonna go explore for a bit and see what we can find. Yo, what's up, Beans? So this is pretty much just the same run of the mill, like RX-7 FC and your Miata, your 91 R R RX-7 Type R. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, 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 please be... You know what? Black is fine. Say no fucking more. We're... I see Pulsar, I choose. I, I... Dude, I didn't even have to look at anything else. Nope. So anyways, to explain the race real quick, for those who don't know, the race is exactly like the tuned car championship, where it's all street cars, are all modified, no racing models are allowed, no racing modifications allowed. So we just gotta max out this Pulsar. It's gonna be underpowered compared to a lot of the other folks that we're gonna go up against, but who cares? So let me just go ahead and put all this stuff here. Okay, so anyways, different shirt. I said, I think I said during the Grand Valley 300 stream slash recording that we were gonna finish the game that night. But for context, we're filming this a month after that because literally um, my computer froze and it wouldn't turn on for a month. And yeah, uh, it decided to start working again, and all... Oh my fucking god. You're bringing it over from Rick's stream? God damn it, Celica. Yes, comment your favorite drill bit. Everyone do it now. Even on Twitch, comment your favorite drill bit. So, it just decided to turn back on, and I was like, you know what? I tried it out for a little bit. I, re I edited some videos, and it, it works. So, fuck it, Phillips. Good choice. Go with the sport transmission. So the car's gonna be down on power, but we're gonna stop on the soft tires and it should be good. And just as a reminder for anyone who didn't tune into the other parts, there's no tire wear in this game. Well, there is tire wear, but the tire wear for all of the of the compounds are exactly the same. Which is kind of silly. Now I would use a 91 Pulsar in GT2, but there's there's actually another Pulsar model in that game. Dude, that Racing mod is blessed. I wish I could fucking racing mod this shit, because oh my god, that is gorgeous, but I can't. So, Black Pulsar it is. Oh, dude. Mwah. Just look how gorgeous that car is. Holy shit. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. One hour around Special Stage Route 11 reverse, and yeah. So, anyways, PC froze, and I couldn't turn it back on. I just decided to turn it on on Wednesday or whatever, and... Ooh, yo, that's gonna be... That's gonna be quite the field, but you know what? If we beat the if we beat the GTR with the Tureno in the Ford variant, we should be able to do it with the Pulsar in the Verse variant, with a faster car, too. So let's get this shit started. So anyways, um... Y'all know that because of COVID, that finding PC parts is a bitch. Also, disclaimer for people watching on Twitch, music is off because I can't listen to the same song over and over again. But if you're watching this on YouTube, then I'm editing in all the music from the PAL, NTSC, and Japanese versions. You're welcome. So this car's gonna have really bad top speed. Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick. So anyways, there we go, just downshifted just to make sure that the square button is working. So the square button wasn't working, which is why when I was in fifth gear, I went to reverse, so I could go down the first gear. Uh, so I did use a PS4 controller, because I play on emulator. I did use a PS4 controller, but I got lazy. I didn't feel like setting up anything, so I'm using an Xbox controller for today. Because I don't feel like opening up PS4 windows, cause, and I don't feel like finding my PS4 controller, because it's somewhere around the house, but eh. Anyways. So with the PC ports being hard to find, 
um, Marvin the Gamer 27, my good friend, he was in queue on EBGA's like email listing or some shit for graphics cards, and so he actually got to be first in line for a 3060. And 450 bucks in this current day and age with the graphics card being a bitch to fall. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I hope I can get that to be the thumbnail. Oh my god, complete murder on the art 7. And we're in the back with him. Anyways, uh, what's up, Marvin? So, anywho, um, speaking of Marvin, he's here. So he found me the EVGA 3060. I gotta give him the money still, but when I go pick it up from him, uh, I'm gonna build a new PC. I was trying to build a new PC at first with, like, trying to find parts and all that shit. And then go with the graphics card, but now that I have the graphics card as like the base, as like the baseline to work with, it, it'll be much easier for me to actually build something. So anyways, I'm not sure if I fully explained it. I think I did before I paused it. I'm just gonna say it again just to be sure, just because I know YouTube comments would be like, how did you do this, blah, blah, blah. Um, no music on Twitch. YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, you're hearing music that's edited in on Vegas. And um, it's all the Japanese PAL and American songs for Gran Turismo 1 because the soundtrack is poggers. It's called crime. Oh yeah, just steal, bro. Just steal, go to jail. I've only stole once in my life, and that was when I was a little kid. I stole candy from the store once. And I, feel, and I still feel, I still feel guilt to this day about it. I'm like, fuck, I didn't have a dollar to, to get a Hershey. So, like, I just put it in my pocket. <laughs> I'm such a criminal. Actually, the second time I ever committed a crime technically is when I snuck it to the FIA America's Final in Vegas. But even then, that wasn't really a crime. That was the security guard on the end because he was stupid. So, first impressions of this car. Nice handling, bro. Although, it, it is quite, like, understeering. Yeah, go on the jail, don't collect $200. I'll be sure to do that for you. Yo, Slushy, what's up, dude? I love you and miss you too, brother. When I get my new PC fixed, dude, I'm gonna be streaming way more regularly around this time, because, you know. But, um... But yeah, dude, uh, Slush, man! Oh my god, dude! I, I wish you could go to Portland next week, dude. I wish you could go to Portland next week, brother, because... I'm meeting... Okay, so... Oh, you know, uh, dude. So, um, here's the exciting part. Tell Cobra to fuck up. Well, you can fly technically if you're vaccinated. You just wear a mask. But, anyways, um, next week. Okay, I should mention too. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the Grand Valley 300 race or the Route 11 Endurance race, but I'm gonna mention it again just for the sake of conversation. Now that this is being recorded in the month of September, I'm doing all three. Indy car races. I'm doing Portland, Laguna, and Long Beach. I'm going to Portland next weekend, and I'm going to meet two people. Well, three people, actually. I'm meeting Tyrannosaurus Rex, which follow him on Twitch. I'm meeting Total Chaos. And, to confirm today, I'm meeting Dodge Lamb. So Lamarino, Cyrus, and Total Chaos. Going to meet all three of them at Portland. It's going to be fucking lit, dude. Oh, okay. So my first flight ever was an hour long. That was from Los Angeles to San Francisco. And it wasn't, dude, like, trust me, brother. I have been there. I've done it. Hey, Celica, can you take care of that, please? Thank you. Um, so, yeah, when it comes to all that shit, like, literally, um, like, I'm going to be flying out. Oh, no, anyways, anyways, I flew out to, um, San Francisco, and, dude, it wasn't, like, flying wasn't that bad, dude, like, the takeoff can be scary, but once you get, out, once you get through that, it's not bad, dude, like, once you're in the air, it just feels like you're inside a house, like, yeah, in, in theory, an airplane is going 500 miles an hour in the sky and shit, but you don't feel it at all, you only feel it on the takeoff, you only feel it, like, it's just kind of like a roller coaster, honestly, but, like, less extreme because like the incline isn't that bad 
I gotta give Slushy moderate, moder uh, moderation status. I'll give you your mod status once I pit Slushy. I don't feel like um, editing out another pause. <laughs> I'm sorry. Totally, uh, what's it called? Totally lazy on that front. Because I gotta edit in music, you know? Which I did edit in the music. Because you mentioned last time when you... Be right back, Mom. You do for show. So Slushy mentioned last time... Um, wouldn't editing in the music be a pain in the ass? And it's like, sure, a little bit, but I have like a spreadsheet of of what volume levels to play at every song. And once I like, once I played it back, oh my god, it makes such a difference. So like, the first song, I'll spoil it right now. If you guys watch, it'll be uploaded sometime, I reckon, maybe at the end of the month, because I'm going to start re-uploading the LPG, the GT1 LP tomorrow. But um, I'm going to start uploading, I should say. Um... The first song in the Grand Valley 300 recording is Everything Must Go by Manic Street Creatures with the Chemical Brothers, and oh my god, dude. Literally, like, hearing the orchestra part gave me fucking goosebumps with the engine noises in the background and all the PS1 sound effects. Like, oh my goodness, dude. It, like, there's a big difference when you have music versus no music. A huge difference. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate it, dude. So, there's gonna be, so Portland's gonna be one trip. Then, I'm gonna be going the following week is Formula Drift Long Beach, so my home course, being from the LA area, and once, it's a two-day event from Friday to Saturday, and once that's out the way, uh, oh, Fiends, aren't you in NorCal? If you are, and you want to be a complete Chad, go to Laguna Seca on the 19th, because on the 19th, I'm going to be driving straight from Long Beach to Re WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca for the IndyCar um, penultimate round. Look at the NSX giving me a freaking bump draft. Railing me from behind. What a gentleman. Like, idiot, why don't you just, like, go around me? Then you can just, like, easily win. So, yeah, I mean, look, as much as I look, like, here's the thing. I feel like Moon Over the Castle's intro for this game has, like, the first buildup until the Sony Computer Entertainment Incorporated logo has that orchestra part which is like amazing and it gives you chills and especially when the garage door goes down and then the drums go doo -doo -doo -doo, like oh even thinking about it right now is giving me chills bro but literally um once the glass shatters for everything must go then it's incredible like just got around everyone <laughs> oh you don't have your license yet oh fuck damn dude if you yeah, I was saying, because you're... I mean, I'm not going to say where you're from, but I know you've told me before. Or you've said it on the stream, I reckon. But, like, I know you said you're from, like, way up in the north. But, to reference Jack and Daxter, you're up in the north. Far, far to the north. But, like... Dude, it'd be badass if you can come down here, too. Like, literally, what I'm trying to do is, like... The, the fact of the matter is, I literally just fake a license. But the boy doesn't drive yet, I don't think. If he doesn't have his license. Or unless he drives under the table. Um... Like, literally, since I'm meeting Cyrus Lamb and Chaos in, in, uh, what's it called? Um, in Portland, I figured, like, dude, yo, Max with the 15 months, thanks so much, my man. How are you today, dude? Good to see you here. Um, literally, I figured since I'm meeting them, why not try to get as many different people from either streaming or GT Sport as possible and just say, hey, go here, go there. It's a bit of an ask, sure, but, like, it doesn't hurt to try, right? Like, I'm only going for Laguna Seca for Sunday, because, like I said, Formula Drift. But, I'm literally flying into Portland Friday morning from 6.30 in the morning. I'm landing around 8.30ish. And why I did that is because I don't think I'm going to go to the track on that day. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go explore and sightsee. Like, downtown and some of the touristy stuff. And then Monday, I fly out of Portland... 1 30 and i get back to los angeles 4 and then from there i take you know i, I get to class 5 30. so it's gonna be kind of like a chad not quite the vegas trip because i'm not gonna be drunk as fuck at 1 30 in the afternoon but like it would be another one of those things where it's like i literally just came from another state so i'm going to class right after which would be pretty cool oh it's max if you could go that would have been so sick dude 
I'm not sure where you're based out of, but dude, if you could have, that would be like the ultimate meetup. Oh my goodness. I tried hitting a miss the MCA to see if he, can, if he wants to go to Laguna, but he can't, so that sucks. I don't think Roadby can either. I hit him up, but yeah, like, it, it, it'd just be amazing. Oh, it's a two-hour drive. Oh, but you work weekends, huh? Fuck, dude, that would have been amazing, Max. That would have been incredible, dude. Just to get like the massive meetup of different, like I said, different people who play Gran Turismo or just or stream on Twitch, get a whole community thing going, dude. Once we, sl oh, Ender for sure, dude. No doubt about it. When I go to Coda eventually or Texas Motor Speedway, you fucking bet that I'm hitting you up, dude. You bet, dude. Dude, that's okay because literally, like. You don't have to be a follower of motorsport to enjoy a motorsport race or just to kick it. Like, like I don't think, I, like, Lamb is someone who likes motorsports, I think, but he doesn't really follow racing. I don't think. Oh, like, he follows, like, F1, but he, I don't think he really follows, like, IndyCar or NASCAR or anything too religiously. So it was just me saying, like, hey, if you have this day available, try to come out. So, if I ever go to Texas Motor Speedway, or if I go to Dakota for, like, NASCAR or something, because I don't think I would go for the U.S. Grand Prix. Actually, it's a lie. I did mention during the last stream that I want to go to Dakota with my aunt from Guatemala, who is a massive Formula One fan, and she goes to Dakota every single year. Whoops. This year is impossible. Wait, what? Wait, Snip Dog really did that? That's pretty funny. Well, I... I mean, bro, even just the silent stream, I'd watch Snoop. Snoop is just entertaining as fuck, regardless. He's a legend, bro. So that little crash into the chicane actually costed us a little bit of time, but not a whole lot. So yeah, like I said, FD Long Beach driving straight over to Laguna Seca, and then driving straight back home. Yo, what's up, Jimmy? It did take me a little bit long, but PC issues, my dude. PC issues. So, literally, like, I'm expecting this PC to just give out and freeze again, and the PC did not turn on for a month straight again. What? <laughs> oh, that's fucking great, dude. Oh, my God. Here comes the NSX, but we're going to get him in the corners. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay the night, like, in Northern California or somewhere around the area before I drive back to Southern California, but, like... The idea is go to Laguna, watch the race, and go straight home. It's only like a five, six hour drive for me anyways. But it would probably be like eight hours because I would literally take um, Pacific Coast Highway down. Which for those who don't know, like, if anybody's played Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010, like the beach area, like like the beach highway and stuff, that like, like with the big bridge and all that, that's all Pacific Coast Highway. It's based off of Big Sur and Malibu and all the parts of Southern California. Oh, dude, I love beer. Like, I'm not, like, a connoisseur where I know, like, all different types, but I just love the taste of beer. Like, I just love, like, IPAs and lagers and shit. Like, I'm, I'm willing to try anything and everything. I'm not very picky. But, yeah, anyways, and they're, like, literally, like, like I said, Texas Motor Speedway or Coda or... I think that's about it for major racetracks in Texas. I'll, I'll let you know, dude. I still gotta go visit Celica in Poland. Hell, dude, I was even trying to go to PAX this week. Ender, if you go to the US Grand Prix, that would be amazing. I wanna say I might consider going, but I think that's, I think as, if an IndyCar weekend is kind of expensive, Formula One weekend is gonna be stupid expensive. And I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. So late into, into planning. Oh fuck, that's what I get for reading chat. <laughs> Nearly missed pit wall. I still have to try Desperado, dude. That's like a thing you have over there. And I, I gotta find like a world a world beer store that sells them. Like Bevmo, I don't think, so Bevmo's like a um, a franchise here in the United States that, that does like all types of beers and shit. I haven't seen Desperados there, nor have I seen Desperados in like, in um, any of the other places I go to. 
Desperado Strawberry Margarita. I know. You sent photos of Desperados, dude, and I still have to give it a try. Like, I'm itching to, to give that drink a, a, a taste, dude. Because that's all you drink. That and fucking Warka. Like, middle of a school week? Wait, how is the U.S. Grand Prix in the middle of a school week? Unless you have school on the weekends. Oh, that's the U.S. Grand Prix weekend? Okay, yeah, I don't have I don't have the weekend available. I'm gonna be, um... I think I'm gonna be at Formula Drift Irwindale that weekend, so I don't believe I'm gonna be going. Yeah, I'm gonna say, dude, that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna say, like, Formula 1 races do not take place on the weekdays, unless there's, like, a postponement or something, but Belgian Grand Prix says otherwise. <laughs> Has there ever been a Grand Prix held on the weekday? Like, in the modern era of Formula 1? Like, postponed, held on a Monday or a Tuesday? Like, that's something I, I hear about in the States. Yeah, what's up, Arthur? Like, it's more of a US thing. Like, racing on the weekday, because... Like... I understand that it will cost a lot of money. And maybe there's kind of, like, an impossibility to do it, because... You literally have, um, you literally have, like, a case of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, jet lag and time zone differences, whereas in the, racing in the States, you can have a dedicated crew, but, like, Formula One should try to look into having some sort of, like, like, like a regular safety team. I, I know they have, like, the medical staff, but, like, literally, like, I, I feel like the U.S., style of racing has more people, like, more personnel who can be there on a regular basis, you know what I mean? And I know marshals are, vo it's volunteer work, but, like, and I know that'll cost a lot more money, but I don't know. Then again, the problem is that I think, I think the weather was pretty much going to be fucked up anyways through that whole week, so they couldn't race to begin with. So I've had regular Jägermeister before, but not that in particular one with, like, cactus juice. That sounds delicious. All the tickets are sold out? Oh my god. Bro. They're... Yeah, exactly. By itself is already amazing, Arthur, but like, all together, no. That does sound fucking bomb. Like, I... I, I I'm not one who's like a... Like, if, if you go to... If you take it to a club... I'm not one to literally, like, get, like, mixed drinks off the top of my head. Except for, like, the usual, like, whiskey and co for, like, white Russians or whatever. But, like, if someone tells me, like, there, there's a drink that has this and this and that, again, it'll, it goes back to the whole, I'm not picky, I will try anything. I will say, that sounds good, I'm sold, fuck it, let me try it. I never had this scarf before. Never tried that variant. That does sound actually, for, like, the, the, the cactus juice and all that sounds bomb as fuck. That I do want to try. But when I go to Poland, dude, you're, we're going to have to do nothing but drinking. <laughs> I'm just going to be fucking binge drinking in Poland the entire time I'm there. It's like a national sport, right? Oh, is it? Oh, shit. Like, barely any place to sell it. Oh, before Arthur showed up, I was just gonna say, like, speaking about Warka, like, like, the regular, like, the regular brew Warka is just, like, it's good, but, like, like I think Celica said it best, it's, the type, it's like Corona or, like, like, Modelo. It's, like, a beer you'll have in, in, what's it called? Um, in Influx at a party or watching a football game. But the Rattlers? Fucking delicious. Like, I had the Lemonade Rattler. Very good. It's like one of those drinks that you can, like, have with, like, a burger or something, like, on a, on a hot day. I remember when I went to that Polish store. There's one Polish store, like, maybe, like, three. And it's in another county called Orange. So I had to go to Orange County to get myself 
Uh, what's it called? Oh, come on, frames. Don't fucking do this to me. It was doing this last time. Like I said, this, this PC is on its last leg. I don't know how many times the stream has dropped frames or froze, but... Yeah, uh, that's why this is going to be a short stream. Because, like I said, the computer's on its last leg. Last time the stream lasted about three hours before the PC hit the fan, so I'm hoping that we can beat the game and then call it a day, because I, I am going to go have lunch with somebody, but also, literally, the PC's on its last leg. Like, it's literally, like, I'm playing a PS1 game without using a capture card or anything just to save the PC's resources. Like, that's how dire the PC is at the moment. Like, I want to stream iRacing, I want to stream Grand Turismo Sport, but... Man. Not worth it at the moment. Not until I build the new build. Caprinaha? Kaipirini? Kaipirini? Okay. Send that to me in a DM, because I'm going to forget that name, and I'm going to have to find that somewhere. But anyways, I remember when I went to this Polish store to buy those beers and to buy candy that Celica had recommended, and the lady was like, maybe she... Kaipirin... Kaipirinha. I probably fucked up that butchering even more, and I probably got it wrong a second time, but that's fine. Just send it to me in a DM anyways, and I'll go ahead and and look into that. But anyway, so like, I get it. Maybe... Oh, it's an... Okay, so NH is an Enya. Oh, okay. Now I know. Thank you so much. So, yeah. I remember this lady was like... Okay, the, the lady who ran the shop. Maybe it was like a language barrier thing, or maybe it's just because she was a fucking boomer. And like... She was pretty, basically calling me like gay or like like a woman but like i was like what do you recommend i was like i'm looking for warka what do you recommend and she was like you get this one and it was like the the straight the straight up beer and not the rattler i was like have you had the lemonade she's like yeah it's good but this one's for men and this one's for women i was like okay she's like you're trying to buy for man or for woman i was like it doesn't matter and she just looked at me like huh and i looked at her like the fuck i just bought both Actually, no, that's a lie. I bought the regular one, because uh, the, the Polish store... I'm pretty sure because it was the novelty of being a store with Polish items, it was quite expensive. And it turns out that my German market, that's like not even in, the, in a different county, it's in the same county, um, has Polish beer anyway. So it's like, okay, I don't have to fucking go there anymore. I was just like, dude, what the hell? I was like, that's fucking weird, man. But yes, um... So what's chases that have been gone from Twitch? I actually had a hate bot come in and post the IP grabbing link, which is very nice, very cool. Yeah, like, that, that's exactly what it is, Celica. It's just like... Like, okay. I think it's because it's a mom and pop sh uh, shop, which I understand. You know, like, you gotta make money, but I feel like they overpriced it way too much. Like, way too much. Like, a four-pack was, like, 13 bucks, dude. When, like, a four-pack at the German market is, like, 10 bucks. And also gas money, too. And, like, it was cool to go as a novelty, but not again. Like, maybe I'll go to buy, like, a sandwich or, like, an actual, like, cooked meal that they do. Yo, what's up, Dodge Slam? Dodge Lamb? I'm so used to just calling you freaking, like, Lamb. Yeah, but it's literally, bro, that shit's fucking expensive as fuck, dude. Like, you do not, like, okay, you don't confuse me. I'm so used to seeing, like, your name altogether, Dodge Lamb, LOL, but not, like, with the underscore. I was like, underscore? I was like, wait, underscore? The fuck? Any combination? All right. Lamb, Dodge, PX7... Fuck PX7 DNA all day, every day, even though PX7 are, are a bunch of cuties. Um, anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> Back up, Magnums. <laughs> dodge, lamb, dodge, lamb. Lamb, dodge. Okay, cool. So, um, 
I remember got banned from Metal Gear stream on YouTube because he was like, I don't want no PX7 uh, freak boys here. I was like, freak boys? I was like, hell yeah, they're freak boys because they're all fucking hot. And then he banned me. Because <laughs> like that was when he was like, childish, child, childishly roasting Amazing Hour. And I was like, oh my god, this guy's a fucking clown. Anywho, so yeah, like, I don't have to drive. Yeah, freaks of nature. <laughs> Also, why does it fuck PX7 Ponto Gearza, please? Oh, Gearza's gonna hate me. No, Gearza loves me too much. Gearza's like a top tier homie. So, anyways, um. Oh, it's another person too, Ender. If I'm ever out in Texas, I gotta hit up Gearza if I ever go to Coda or Texas Motor Speedway. So, um, literally, like, it, it's just stupid expensive, dude. Like, I'm not gonna pay 13 bucks for a four pack. Like, I'll pay that much if there's like a. Like a really, like really obscure beer but for Warka? Like, bro, I literally found it in a German market. Like a Phoenix we fuck. <laughs> um, so, um, anyways, literally, like, when I was... I don't know who the fuck you are, fuck you. So, when I when I found that out, I was like, dude, it's not even worth going back anymore. Like, I, maybe I'll go back for candy, but, like, dude, I'm pretty sure I can find, like, that chocolate you recommended, Celica? I'm pretty sure I could find it somewhere here in LA. I'll die in the process. <laughs> hey, is, is that a promise for Portland, bro? Shit, you, me, and Cyrus? Ooh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I know, right? You horny bastard, you. Hey, look, I'm just exactly what Marvin's about to say. Look, I'm on the asexuality spectrum, so all I want to. Oh, fuck. I mentioned that I was part of the LGBT plus community. I'm gonna get hate bots now. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a hate rate. Shit. Uh, anyway, so, like, yeah, um. Literally, like, um. Yeah, all I wanna do is just spoon somebody, bro. I'll, I just wanna cuddle. I'll cuddle you, bro, but nothing else. Time for me to ride up the wheel. <laughs> Shit, yep, I'm dead. Like a melty wax statue. I'll speak for the trees for sure. <laughs> you know what's funny? Speaking about trees, um, so for so here's the thing for my Portland trip, I actually rented this um this what's it called? Um little like back house for the I only told Lamb and I only told Cyrus. I rented this little back house across the bridge in this town called Vancouver, Washington, which is like five miles away from Portland. Like it's five miles across the bridge. Fuck it. It's cool, I'll be, I'll be in two different states. So like, originally I was gonna rent a tree house. There was this tree house that was like neat on Airbnb that was like around, like not far from the racetrack and it was like walking distance. And I was like, yo, a fucking tree house? Like there's a tree house and then there's like a, like a built bathroom like behind the tree house, like specifically a bathroom and like a laundry. Let's go, but here's the catch. I had to actually do an interview with these people. I was like, really? Like, I understand, like, an interview for, like, you know, if you're moving in, if you're gonna get, like, you know, a lease or something, like, renting a new place. But for a fucking Airbnb, like, come on. I was like, okay, fuck it. Let's do the interview. So I call up the dude, and the dude's like, like, hey, you know, like, we're looking for really earthy people. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like, I like nature. I go, you know, I was like, you know, I've been to Germany, I've been to Guatemala, like, I've been hiking and stuff, I've swam in a river in Guatemala, like, you know, when I went back home and all that. And he was like, yeah, he said, so what are you coming to Portland for? I was like, oh, you know, I'm coming, I, this is where I fucked up. But here's the problem. The problem is that my merchandise would have said otherwise, probably. Like, the shit that I wear. I said, I'm, oh, I'm gonna be in, in town for the IndyCar race. And then the dude just starts going off and saying, like, you know, you know, ICEs are literally, exactly, bro, that's what I'm fucking saying. He's like, oh, you know, internal combustion engines are, you know, are polluting the environment, blah, 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 blah. It's like, I only let people here who are here for wellness trips. I'm like, oh, you a fucking dick, dude. Like, I'm all in for wellness and, like, nature and shit, but, like, if you're just a fucking cunt about it, like, fuck off, bro. Like, none of that has to do with me giving you, like, 60 bucks, like, a, a night to stay in a fucking treehouse. It would have been sick if I stayed in a fucking treehouse and I just, like, climbed a tree to, to sleep, dude. Like, how cool and novel that, that would have been. 
And so that's why I was just like, welcome to the weird Portland. Oh, what should I have said? Give, give me a suggestion, Mr. PNW. Oh, we have two PNW people here. So yes, as a weird grass uh, cell cow dude going up to the Pacific Northwest, what should I have said? Eat an organic plant-based green dick. Go Huskies? Shoot someone through the phone? Where you can kiss me through the phone like Soldier Boy. Just no Soldier console, please. I'm gonna raise the bitches, please. I'm gonna put so much energy into my bedtime routine that I can run this CD all on my own. That, that yeah, it's green as fuck, bro. Damn, bro. Like, see, I'm. I, see, like, all that energy. See, okay, see, like, all, all that energy would have been like. Imagine if I had powered the whole house through that, like, thrusting and shit, and then that powered up to like a generator. Oh fuck, dude, that would have saved so much energy, resources and shit. Oh my god, bro. Come in and do the phone. Anyways, we got a pit. My right front is pretty worn out. I plow for the people. <laughs> yes, only for the people. It's like I'm like, my sex neutrality on my asexuality spectrum is already just like, oh shit, like I'm just like, uh, I'll just do it if people ask. That's pretty much it. So I have to plow for the better man society. But like, okay, like like a wellness trip, I guess in, in that case would just be like going out to nature, going hiking and shit, it's just like, dude, I, like, bro, like, even, like, I understand that, like, you know, you're, like, the electric car fanatic, but even then, like, the coal that's needed to mine for the electricity to make the electric cars and the power of them is still polluting the environment, and yes, it's a step away from ICEs and all that, I'm not again to this whole topic and shit, but literally, like, everything pollutes everything at the end of the day, dude. Like, I was just being an asshole, man. One bang a day keeps the pollution away. Anyways, the NSX, when did it hit? We still stayed ahead. Very nice. <laughs> being a human being with human... <laughs> oh, fuck. That's clever. I like that. So yes, um, that's the reason why I can't stay in a treehouse. It would have been so fucking cool. Like, Airbnb has so much interesting shit, dude. <laughs> that's exactly what I said on on Instagram. I was like, Oregon Trail, like, like, dude, I don't... Oh, no, 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 no! One of my friends was asking, like, hey, I'm gonna be racing next week, like, can you come? I was like, dude, we're gonna be on the Oregon Trail. And we're gonna let all of our, um, what's called people in our wagon die, because you don't know how to feed them. Bro, every single time I play Oregon Trail, all of my crew members would die because I never understood the concept as a kid that you have to like feed them and shit and like you have to take care of them. They're like Neopets. Every single time I had a Neopet as a kid, they would just always die. <laughs> Pretty fucking much, dude. Like, come on. I, I, I feel like I'm... Enough... I don't know the fucking term, I guess, like... Come on, I eat organic from time to time. I eat green. I like vegan food. I drink kombucha. Like, come on, man. Like, that should be enough. Imagine I told him all that. That would have probably... Yeah, I wouldn't have done shit. Now, like, like, literally, dude, I got... I'm pretty sure he did that on purpose. Now that I think about it, because he knew that the week... The, that IndyCar was going that weekend and shit. That is if it's promoted. I think it's promoted pretty well. A prophet of God in nature. <laughs> pretty much, Lamb. But like, dude, literally like, now I think about it, it was probably like a trap, dude. It was probably like a trap just to have people inquire about the, the Airbnb, just to like, preach to the fucking choir about some bullshit, dude. It's not bullshit at the end of the day, like, I understand that the cause is for like, a good deed and all that, but like, dude, time and place for everything, go protest. Like, protest, not single out individuals and heckle them for not... Yeah, if you don't even know them, like, come on. Exactly, Marvin, that's what it is. And like I said, there's there's a way to go by it, and that, that wasn't it. <laughs> Pretty much, Arthur. Pretty fucking much. Oh, are you talking about, um... Oh, you, wait, Black Ops 3? 
thought you were talking about Cold War. Don't you have Cold War? Oh, dude. Like, I don't have anything against Prius drivers, bro, but, like, a lot of them are so smug. Can I teach you about global warming? Uh, imagine. I have to take a mandatory fucking course in his kitchen. Okay, the Prius C is pretty cool looking. AKA the Toyota Aqua. I prefer the name Aqua, honestly. But, literally, like, bro, that the Prius C does look pretty cool. Like, okay, so my best friend, who's, a, who's an actor, when we went to San Diego Comic-Con a couple years ago, um, he rented a Prius C on Turo. And honestly, it had some pretty nice, like, NK rims on it. And not gonna lie, with, like, a dark blue color, it looked pretty fucking cool. Like, it's not something that I would, like, whip around, but... No joke, I thought it looked pretty sick. What, is he like the bullshit master? I mean, look, it, look, I'm, I feel like I'm the master of bullshit too from time to time. I mean, that's how I got into the freaking, you know, America's Final in Vegas for FIA as a spectator. But like, if I had known that I had to bullshit my way into something, then it would have been like different than that. That kind of is too. But exactly, dude, like, exactly, like, dude. Honestly, oh yeah, Cyrus too, bro. Dude, Cyrus, dude, Cyrus has a really fucking charming personality. He definitely would have. But like, look, the place that I rented off Airbnb, it was all I had to do was because I guess of a of terms of service change. Airbnb allows people to request a driver's license or like a government ID of some sort. That's all the dude asked for that I rented from. Oh, the couple, I should say. It's like some older couple the back house that I rented in Vancouver, all they asked for was just a, a verified driver's license or government ID. That's it. And that's all I gave them. And they accepted. And I was like, hey, I'm going to the races. I'm going to be coming late. Is that okay? They're like, sure. Perfect. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Pay the cleaning fee. Pay the cleaning fee, which is like $30, $30 extra. So that way, you know, you don't have to clean up after yourself. Be like, pay the clean. Be like, I'll bring 20 hookers to this place, but I'll pay the cleaning fee. I'll pay you 50 bucks for the cleaning fee. For all the stains and shit, and all the fluids that are around the place. No, for real, Earth? Dude, I mean, Earth is pretty sick, dude. Don't get me wrong, I love Earth. As a, like, I love Girth and I love Earth. But, anyways, um. You didn't hear that. Uh, dude, like, doing nature shit is cool as fuck. Like, I want to go camping. Like, when I was in Germany um, in 2019, dude, like, you don't like girth that much? Bro, I thought you were standing at the end. Girth can go shrink. <laughs> I mean, girth can go shrink. As a member of the small wiener gang, I can attest to that. But, like, literally, like, no, bitch. <laughs> you're getting off fucking topic. We're talking about dumb shit now. But, no, seriously, like... Driving to the Nurburgring was sick as fuck, dude. Like, Lamb, I don't, I don't know which direction you came from when you went to the Nurburgring. Hell yeah, bro. Like, okay, twitch.tv forward slash uh, Nick with two Ks. He has Small Wiener Gang merch, and I'm, I was so tempted to buy one, to buy a Small Wiener Gang hat, but like, I was like, fuck. Yeah, I think he took it down. Yo, what's up, AJ? Oh, you're AJ? Oh, that's right, you rebranded. Yes, 15 people are here watching me talk about how I have a small wiener. It's just another day. What direction? <laughs> Beer to Airbnb to penis. <laughs> just another day on my fucking channel, dude. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That, that, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, to the Nurburgring. Correct. I'm not sure what town you... I forget. You told me during, like, one of our, one of our, like... We just chatted on Twitter. But... When I came from Cologne to the Nürburgring, the route that I had to take from the Autobahn to like the little country back road with um, German Ender, if you're still in chat. Dude, that was so fucking beautiful and scenic. I knew you said Austria. Oh, you were in Bonn. Okay, so you did, you went the same route then. You were in Bonn then. We went, we picked up our Z4 from Bonn. So we, we went through the same route, through the Autobahn for a little bit and then through like the country back roads. Ender, if you're still in chat, if you remember the name of the road, post it because you're the local, I'm not. So I don't remember what direction we went. 
But dude, all that was so beautiful. I was like, dude, I can go camping out here. Guatemala. Dude, literally, like, yeah, I stayed on a farm. I'm not sure. I don't think you were in the stream last time when I talked about my Guatemala trip. Uh, the road after the Autobahn that we took going to the North Slipper. It's all good. You came back just in time. But, um, old man fucking Donald. But yeah, in, in Guatemala, when I stayed on that farm, like, I stayed in a tent because, like I said, the place was overcrowded. So I slept in the tent seeing the lightning strike, and pretty much we were in nature the whole time. Yes, that one. I, I guess so. Wh whichever one it's called. I, I guess that's the name of the road, but literally, like, dude, all that shit's beautiful, dude. Like, nature in general is beautiful. Like, I want to go camping one day. Like, I want to go to, like, Joshua Tree or um, Yosemite or Yellowstone. Like, the one in Wyoming, I think it's Yellowstone. Yeah, it's Yellowstone. I went, I drove to Yellowstone once. Once when I went through the state of Wyoming. Yeah, it's a Pulsar. Like, we were looking through the UCD and I was like, what car's underpowered but looks fun and we can use? I saw the Pulsar first thing and I was like, yeah, I'm buying a Pulsar immediately. Okay, look, look, bitch, just because I'm not using Subaru because you're fucking world champion, bitch, doesn't mean that you got to heckle me. I used the Subaru last time. It was yellow, and it looked pretty good. It sucked. Oh, Nissan's just bad. I mean, Nissan, yeah, I mean, Nissan hasn't made a new car in, like, 20, 30 years or whatever, but, dude, the Pulsar's cool. Oh, shit, you're getting in a fight. Be gentle, be civil. Uh, kiss and make up afterwards. Subaru Lamb. Family Feud came out. Oh shit. One of those moments, huh? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I can do this quick. And plus, we're, the car's more OP than I thought. There we go. I know it's forgetting something. I, I did. I forgot to do it in the pit stop. Yeah, you're welcome. So, um, Lamb <laughs> underscore STI. But, um, literally, like, I, I want to legit go camping. Well, oh, that's right. Tusha, why did it suck? Is it because your parents didn't want to do shit? Like, dude, hiking was incredible. Like, dude, that's the thing. Most of my parents don't want to go hiking. Like, like, Dodge Big Lamb. <laughs> sexually transmitted infections. <laughs> um, literally, like, um, when I, like, my best friend, she, like, she's a cross-country runner, and she does running and shit, but she's like, I get too tired hiking. I'm like, what? I'm like, dude, cardio is more of your game. How the fuck do you not like hiking? My friends who, like, who are into exercise don't like hiking. Yeah, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, what? Like, dude, I just do hit training. I don't actually go for runs. And, like, when I was hiking in Guatemala, I, I never... I, yeah, I got tired from time to time. If you didn't want to kill yourself. Well, the only jumps that I take are into rivers, which is what I did in Guatemala. And that river was fucking sick, dude. Water was cold as shit. Ah, uh, I see. Yo, Varo, what's up, dude? Dude, that AI is so horrible through T1. Fuck. Okay, yeah, I hate running too, dude. Like, okay, first of all, I'm I'm just a big built dude. Like, I'm big in general. Like the the least amount I will probably weigh is like 170. That's or maybe 180 once like I get either sur yeah, probably once I get surgery for the loose skin, I'll probably be like 180. You know, the loose skin from the weight loss. But, like, that's number one. And number two, I hate the motion, dude. Like, you're, like it's kind of cool and I can run, but, like, I hate it, bro. That's why for cardio, I do hit training, dude, because it's just fun. It's just really fun to, like, like I said, like, like, do, like, jumping jacks and scissor steps and, like, all those moves and shit. It's just fun to do that. You do different moves at one time. Running over hiking? Nah, I don't know. Oh, 
you're one of those. Okay. Oh, so you're into running, huh? I bet you can't fucking recite the entire fitness gram pacer test um, introduction by memory. I fucking dare you, Lamb. Do it. Isn't like the, the fitness gram pacer test is a multi level. See, I don't even know because like I would only make it to like stage 10 because I, I was always fat as, as, as a kid. What? Was it? How? Oh, see, so you didn't get that song that went like doom, 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 doom. Feel it. Like, and then it goes, doo doo. One. Fucking pacer test, dude. I just wonder what PE would have been like for me now. Name every runner. Yes. Usain Bolt. That's the only one I know, too. The bleep test? What, what the hell was the bleep test? Yeah, that's the one under. Thank you. Yeah, the fitness grand patient test is a multi-stage capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. Like, isn't it like when you cross the line, you'll hear this sound? Wee wee wee! Oh no, it's, no, no, it's like when you hear, when you cross the line, you'll hear this sound. Bing! When there's another level, the test begins in 30 seconds, lined up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster every each minute when you hear the triple beat. The test will start after five seconds on the word start. Ready? Five. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the countdown, and then it goes like, don't, don't feel it. Like, that's the, that's the song I remember. And it's the only one I remember because I would only get to like level 10. Or like 10 repetitions. Level 2, 10 repetitions. Oh, okay. But see, in school, I would only like. I wouldn't succeed because I remember I never did exercise until I was like 25. Or 24, I should say. But like, the only tests that I would actually succeed in were like push ups and shit. Like, I mean, push ups I'd barely pass, but like sit ups I would actually like do quite a lot of. I never did them in high school to get into shape or anything, but like, volleyball? We never played volleyball. You see, okay, basketball I was pretty good at. I wish, okay, so like, I wish I was into fitness as a kid and as a teenager only because I know that, like, I'm not saying that I would have been an NBA star today, but I think, like, I could have played for the school team at the very least. Like, my mental health was so bad in high school, it still is, but it's much better than it was when I was a teen. My mental health was so bad in high school that I did not want to do any extracurricular activity. One thing that everyone told me to do was join football and join wrestling. They said, you have literally the physique for this shit. <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> Where do you come up with these fucking analogies, you degenerate? Oh my god, that's why we love you, dude. Um. <laughs> oh my fucking god. That's for my Instagram, my for my personal Instagram. Just like what my stream consists of today. <laughs> oh my fucking god, that's hilarious, dude. Basketball is your favorite sport of all time because the sport of criminal is slapping nuts. That's what you want to do with a hung ass sack. Wait, 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 no, volleyball would be slapping nuts. Well, no, 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 basketball is dri is dribbling nuts. Because you go like, volleyball would be slapping nuts, soccer would be kicking nuts, football would be like huddling nuts, and then baseball would no no no, no. like, uh, what would lacrosse be? Swinging nuts? Uh, with volleyball what? <laughs> What's your argument? Whacking nuts? Yeah, I guess that's whacking nuts. Oh, okay. I, I, I guess. I, I suppose. I mean, I guess you got a point there. Like, 
you can slap it. A, I guess you can slap it against the ground, but like, you're not really slapping nuts the entire time. You're you're dribbling nuts the the most most of the time. Okay, what? Flat <laughs> boy in basketball? What would golf be? Nah, golf is you know, just. Golf is just cock and ball torture at that point, I reckon, because you're literally like you're literally swinging a club at at, at a fucking ball. But like, that just sounds painful. Okay, I, I swear to God, I'm probably gonna make this a fucking reel on on um, like a video reel on Instagram on my on my um, Instagram page. By the way, Instagram at the Moving Chicane. I, I gotta start posting clips on there again. Yeah, golf is just sadism. That's just that's just called it ball torture. <laughs> Pretty much, Celica. <laughs> the white world is sporting nuts. Oh my god, we're fucking immature. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm at, I'm. Okay, so I guess motorsports would be just okay. I guess vintage motorsports, driving an ace pattern like classic race car on the Goodwood, would be like jerking someone off because you're in an ace pattern one, two, three, four. Like you're like, I guess that's the equivalent of that. I suppose. I, I, I'm trying to think of something else with like penis, but like I can't really think. Yeah, motorsports just shaking nuts. Sequential shifter? Ah. It's jousting is cockfight. Yeah, because it's sword. That's what. Yeah, that's just cockfighting. You're, you're just curling? Like, wrestling would just be an asexual uh, couple's dream. <laughs> that's, that's the only, like. That's the only physical contact I could think of with wrestling. Like, actual, like. Olympic wrestling. You're just checking out this. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I know. I know what I know what curling is, but I'm trying to think about what curling would be. I guess sliding nuts. Especially on Hiro Saka. <laughs> yeah, you have to make the jumps. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, that's just softcore forward at that point. Sliding and sweeping nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm playing volleyball. Bro, does anyone else play Dead or Alive Volleyball just for the volleyball? Like, let, 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 let's take a survey. Bro, I'm already there. Like, I've committed so many atrocities in my life, and I've, done, and I've already sinned. So, like... Like, the number one sin is, like, never masturbate, and it's like, I'm always going, like, bloop, 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 so, like, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to hell already. Fancing, oh, fencing is just stabbing nuts. Oh, I, oh, that, that's the same as jousting, isn't it? <laughs> Why, is, because you're Brazilian, you're automatically going to hell? What is, what does that have to do with, with us going to hell, Arthur? Hell is, oh, that's, oh, that's right. It's just hot as fuck the entire time. Like, you just deal with nothing but hot-ass weather. And, I, like, in Guatemala, I just dealt with humidity. With hot, humid rain. Oh. I guess that's true. Oh, that's right. Fencing is the one where you're standing, whereas jousting is where you're on the horse. Yes, it's the moving dick cane. That's why I, like... I move, and I smooth, bro. All day, every day. D cane. Dude, I, I just like how the only reason why the NSX has been sort of striking distance from Crash again is because I've been doing nothing but like not paying attention and I've just been talking about dick and crashing into the chicane and crashing into the walls and like stopped to give T Slushy his um, moderator status. 
Like, that's pretty much the equivalent of, like, that's pretty much what you get here. Like, why take these games super serious? Like, I know there are some people who like to take the classic GTs a little serious when they stream them, but that's no fun. It's like Rhino is like, whenever you watch Rhino stream, he's like the perfect example of like, watch someone who just chills with chat, but chooses like the most logical cars. The real Emil is like perfect for like, choose like the weird cars that like nobody, that that no that society doesn't like, like a Ford Taurus or like, like the Aston Martin Signet, I think it's called, that fake smart for two. And then I'm the equivalent of just like, choose the dumbest challenge as possible, so like when I LP GT5, I chose the Jay Leno tank car and did the Laguna Sega 200 endurance with it, and won. But it's all vibes at the end of the day. Anyways, final lap, yo, what's up, Theo? Yeah, I mean, dude, bro, I can't wait for you to start streaming, since you got faster internet and hopefully you get your PC shit sorted out, dude. Bro, when you stream, it's gonna be a wrap, dude. I mean, you already have, like, what, most of your followers are, what, they're all from, I'm assuming when you streamed League of Legends? Yo, let's go, dude, hell yeah, man. So, I, I don't know if you tuned in when I said I'm getting my graphics card, but I, I got a 3060, so I'm gonna be building a new build. You don't know where to start, huh, dude? Like, look, the advice that Jimmer gave me when, when we went in Vegas and he's watched my streams and, and all that shit is literally just this. Just do what you enjoy and just have fun. Play GT Sport or play this or play any other game. Just just chill and vibe and, and enjoy yourself, dude. That's it. Like, why do you think Cyrus, despite the fact that his numbers tank when he plays Call of Duty, he still plays COD because he has fun doing it. Road Beef, when he plays like World of Tanks or whatever tank game he plays, just do what you like, man. Anxiety? Bro, you do with anxiety, I'll do with depression. Trust me, bro. Trust me, there's days where I feel like nobody likes me, nobody wants to watch me, but that's every time I stream, I realize that's not true. Y'all are here because you love me. And anyway, speaking about love, I love the Pulsar. Fuck you, Lamb, for thinking these sons of garbage because we win. Yay. By one second. And most of that is because we literally, like... We legit were just fucking around. Lap 6 was my fastest lap. Nishan Thwash. Alright, how much did we get? 15,000? Or 15 million? Cool. That's 150,000. Cool. Alright. What part is this for YouTube? This is... 27. Okay. Cool. I mean, I have school... Like, I have school too, but like, remember how I said... Yeah, it is, because uh, the music is badass in this version. So for YouTube, I'm editing in music. Like, all the music from the US, PAL, and Japan. But obviously, I'm lowering the volume so the bots on YouTube don't detect it. Because why? I don't care about getting monetized. If it gets detected, cool. If not, perfect. All right, what do we win? Oh, speaking about Nissan Trash, there you go. Okay, one more championship to go. We got the World Championship coming up. 